Hello, friends. Hello, hello, hello. I was running around trying to find my album. Remember? Because I said we're starting an album. So by the end of this year, we're going to have a whole bunch of projects in it. And I think I put it in the other room. So hello. Happy Friday. How are you guys? I will uh, make sure that I go and grab it at some point when I flip the camera. So how you doing? How was your week? Hi, Nat. I see you're here. Hello, Natalie. D'Souza, are you feeling better? I hope so. Um, I got boosted today and I'm feeling good. I was nervous and then I got it under control. So I am feeling very good. How are you doing? How are you doing? Are you ready for tonight? I'm very excited because I actually did some prep work and I love how it turned out. So um, tonight we level up what we did last week with our masking and watercolor. Uh, I forget what I called that. Watercolor, reverse watercoloring. But now we're going to emboss with white embossing powder. So we're going to heat emboss tonight. So I just survived COVID 2.0. Oh, my goodness, Elizabeth. Scary stuff. I hope you're feeling okay. Let's see. I'll read some comments here. You got your kit today. Very exciting. We'll talk a little bit about that before we get started. Hello, Irene. How are you? Crescendo. Hello, Nicole. Hope you're feeling better too. Debbie, Karen, Miriam, Julie. So many of you here tonight. Very happy to see you. Hello. Patty, how are you, my friend? And Julie, oh, so many of you. I hope I'm not missing anybody, but you know, I love you all and you're all my friends. So very happy. Um, if you really need a shout out for me and I'm missing you, just holler <laughs> looking and you know that I will give you the love that you need because, you know, we all need it. We all need it. So hi from Squamish. Very nice to see you here. Uh, you injured your index finger at work needed stitches e only watching tonight yeah rest that up take care of that hi karen napoli how are you hello kristen you got boosted today too so we're boosting sisters crystal so yeah we went um rich and i got that done it was very quick in and out done arms a little bit tender but that's about it right so feeling good hello from australia hello tina how are you um where did i get you like these my gumball machines can you see them I have bubble gum machines. I should actually save this for Sweet Rush. What was I even thinking? So when I wear them again, pretend like it's new. Okay. Um, can't find the Fernwood kit. Is it still available? Karen, it is. And that's the first thing I'm going to talk about tonight. I was hoping to come down here and start the layouts, um, but it's all set up. I cleaned my room and then I got pudding. Can you see them? I started putting all my, my uh, what are those things called? Bobblehead things. I just forgot. Oh my goodness. Cause I was so excited to tell you a story. So I started putting them out and then, um, started making a card and, uh, yeah. <laughs> and didn't start the layouts, but I want to talk about the Fernwood Lollapalooza weekend event. All the kits have gone out. The last ones that came in this week are going out tomorrow. So if you are in the U S and you would like to participate in the Lollapalooza weekend where we will be making this awesome album and then layouts and cards and you get everything you need in the kit. You need to go and visit vickybooten.com and grab yourself a kit. If you buy it tonight or early tomorrow morning, it will ship tomorrow. So, and then my Canadian friends will ship this weekend too, but I have to make a special trip to go to ship them to the US and um, I'm going to do that tomorrow. So if you're still on the fence, I have very few kits left, like a lot of the remaining ones sold this week. So if you were on the fence or you've seen it or your friend's doing it, now you don't wanna miss out, make sure you go and grab yourself one of the kits and I will be shipping it. It is so much fun. Like, look, I popped open on one of my favorite pages. Can you see that? Oh my goodness, I do everything backwards. Look at that. It's so much fun. So we're going to, it's look at flips, flaps, vellum, all this fun stuff. So if you are interested in that, grab your kit. Um, if they sell out, I have a few extra that I have to finish putting cardstock and stuff in. And then when they're gone, they're gone. They're gone. They're gone. 
Um, so very exciting. For some of you guys that want to, you're in Australia or New Zealand or somewhere in South America and you want to just buy access only, it will come in a little bit. If you got your kit and you're like, Vicki, I asked for, for um, to be included into the private group but nobody's included me. Don't worry, you're not excluded. We haven't done it for anybody because I want to make sure that I put a few finishing touches on there. And here's the other thing, friends. You can't start the kit until it's actual class day. I will not send out instructions and uh, downloads until about a week before because it's meant to be an event weekend. It's not a, hey, here's a kit, work at your own pace. Although you can, but it's, I still have to write the instructions. I still have to finish the layout. So I worked madly all last weekend and into this week to ship the kits finally. And now, uh, and then the rest of this week, I've been working madly on a new collection that required my time. And it's, you know, you see them. If you love Fernwood, if you love the new Sweet Rush, if you loved Warm Wishes, if you love color study, you know a lot of work goes into that. Like a lot of work goes into that. So tweaking, changing, switching, what's going on the A side, what's going on the B side. Like, oh, we need to add this or let's switch this color or let's put this texture in here. Oh, we need this. Oh, we have to design the three by four cut aparts. What about the four by six? What about the tags? And then I draw them all and get it all ready. So it's a lot of work right? It's a lot of work. Um, so I can't tell you anything, but I'm working on another collection. So it has been crazy beans time, but it's crazy beans time every day of Vicki Booten's life, but I'm happy. So I'm really happy with what's happening with the new collection. I'm super excited about Sweet Rush and I am so super happy about uh, Fernwood. So yay, it's gonna be so much fun. So I know some of you are just getting the kit, just opened it up. I hope you're loving on it as much as I uh, am and I can't wait. Like I've sketched out a whole bunch of things that I'm going to be making, even if you're not taking the class or signing up for the weekend, I will be making other things with Fernwood and posting them. So very excited to share all that. So anybody have any questions? Sorry. Uh, when is the Sweet Rush? When does it come out? So you're going to see all over that there are um, pre-sales. It's not shipping until April. So I will be doing a weekend event just like Fernwood. I just didn't post it yet because you guys, some of you are still buying Fernwood or you just bought Fernwood or you're recovering from Christmas shopping, right? So it is going to go up. There will be another weekend event with um, Sweet Rush and it will go up in about a month's time. The other thing that will be coming, that the next thing I will work on too is an online class for gel plate part two. It will be coming, I wanna do that in the spring. So I'm very excited, I have lots of plans. Uh, any questions, ask me the questions now before we flip, um, but I think I think I've covered a lot of what you might be asking. So a uh, question, should we have received a tracking number for Fernwood? No, if you're in the US, because um, I have to manually add all of them and that takes tons and tons of time. But from the, I, I shipped through a company called Chit Chat, it updates in about five days from the day it was shipped. So be patient if you don't have a kit by Tuesday, and you're concerned, email me at vickybootenkits at gmail.com and I will go on the other website and track it for you. But a lot of you guys were concerned about it, emailed me and then went, oh, guess what? I got the kit today. So yes, they're coming, right? Question, are you doing cut files? Cut files for what, Lori? I'm not sure what that's for. Uh, gel plate part two, so excited, me too, Robin. Morning from Australia. I have to do gel, part, uh, gel plate part one, you do, Crystal. You do. It will be a lot of fun. Um, is the price the same for Canadian and new U.S.? No, because it's all in Canadian dollars. So if whatever you see there is in Canadian dollars, if you're like, what is that in U.S.? Go right onto Google and just say blank Canadian dollars to U.S. dollars and it will give you the uh, conversion rate. OK, the one thing. Oh, my goodness. Stop. Drop and listen. My friend Lisa Forrest is on here. And I have to tell you this right now. Do you see Lisa? Everyone say hello to Lisa. And right now, 
send out prayers, positive vibes, all the energy you can put out in this world. My friend fought for her life over the Christmas break and that she is strong. I'm going to cry that she's strong enough to be on here talking to us. Send that girl some love because seriously, OMG, she scared the pants right off of me. So Lisa, I love you. And I hope you're doing all right. Sorry. I will though. Holy crap. You never know. You never know. So hug everybody you love. Live your life to the fullest every day. Make the art when you want to make the art because we need to send Lisa lots of love. I love you, my friend. And I'm going to send your kids go-karting. I'm going to email Jim. I said to Jim, like, I want to do something. So um, sorry, I'm going to flip the camera because now I'm embarrassed that I'm doing this. But oh my goodness, I just, these are tears of joy. So Lisa, I love you. I'm so glad you're on here. Ah, anyway, so sending you lots of love. This whole community of, I hope the 300 people that are out here tonight, seriously, that just gets you um, on the track to recovery a lot faster. So love you, my friend. Jim said the kids will be excited. Yeah, I have to e-transfer because they don't have gift cards. So I can't, <laughs> you, don't you love when you're gonna send somebody a gift, but they have to do the work to get the gift because you live in Ontario and they live in um, Saskatchewan. And you're like trying to do all of the things you can to go and because, you know, it's really hard when you have friends that are online, right? So a lot of us in this community, like I seriously, I hope you know how much I love and appreciate you. I hope that you can feel it. I hope the ones, if you're out there, Debbie, you, my friend, I hope that you know how much I love you. But when we struggle at all, I want to fix it. And it's very hard when I'm here and Lisa's so far away, but I hope you know, I hope you can feel it, right? So we might not talk every day, but oh my goodness, when you're down, I wanna be there to pick you up. So hoping that you're feeling better and you look better. I see the sparkle in your eye in the pictures you're posting, so love ya. Okay, sorry about that. A little bit of tears, like it wouldn't be a friend. I <laughs> think you didn't cry, right? But anyway, I totally forget what I was talking about because we stopped the presses, but um, with the upcoming classes, there's lots of stuff coming. Uh, tracking numbers to the US will be updated, but like, sorry, now I have uh, something hanging off my jacked eyelash. Um, the tracking numbers will be coming, but oh my goodness, sorry, friends. I'm gonna go blind. There it is, I got it. It was a little eyelash, right? Isn't that like a wish? So here's my wish, I'm gonna whisper it, but shh. I'm sending lots of wishes to Lisa. To feel better so yay okay see yes he got her fernwood box and she's in california so it it's they're coming they're coming be patient like i said um if you for some reason don't get yours right away then email me and i will take i will take care of it right so yay were there any questions i'm sorry for <laughs> I, you just don't even know how happy I am to see Lisa on here. So uh, I love it. <sighs> um, anyway, any questions before we get started tonight? We're going to elevate what we did last week with the um, Fernwood stamp set. And then we are going to do it with white embossing powder. So what do you need tools for tonight? You need a stamp set. I'm going to use the Fernwood one again. All the stamps are just sitting on top of it. This one just because it's here and it's new and you guys can access it, okay? I am going to be using embossing ink, white embossing powder, whatever you want to do your watercolor with. I'm gonna just use the same Distress, but I added a new one, like something for the background other than uh, the brownish color, the grayish brown, because I, I want to do a second one a little bit brighter. I'm going to make a five by seven card so you will need your card base. And then I'm painting on a piece of foundations paper that I think I cut at four and a half by six and a half. So we're gonna do the things, right? Can't wait to see what you have to come up with. I'm telling you, Don, because here's the whole thing. We talked about, we are gonna be so organized and planning all of the things this year. So I'm gonna talk about a technique. We're gonna put it on a layout. We're gonna put it on a card. And then I'm going to choose to put it in like an art journal, six by eight album kind of deal, because I want to um, 
put it in different sizes. I want to scale it with different ap um, applications. So we learn the basics of the technique. The next week we level up and then the next week we level up even more. So it's going to be so much fun. Vicki normally posts it in her class description. What did I miss that question, Lori? What was the question? Three of us open our boxes of Fernwood. Beautiful. I love it, Linda. Um, doo -doo. Do you know which stencil is in the Sugar Rush kit? Uh, I don't know yet. Um, I will be like American Crafts changed how you order things. So I have ordered everything that goes in the collection. And when I post the pre-orders, I'll be posting like some card sets, the extra stencil, the extra stamp. It'll all be in there if you're ordering the kit from me. Um, I have put my order in, but like I said, it's not, it's not anywhere near a warehouse. It's not shipped at all yet. So uh, anywhere that you're pre-ordering, just know you never know exactly when it's going to come in. It's the same with me. As long as there are no delays and we're all set up with how, um, oh my goodness, my brain is tired, um, how quickly the product arrives in the warehouse so it could affect everything. But I don't know yet. We'll talk about that, right? I'm just trying to get through Fernwood first and then we will talk about all of those things, okay? My delivery day keeps getting pushed back, but BC is still a mess, so no surprise. But I think, Evelyn, we should still be okay, right? We have time. The timing with this should be good. Um, is there a way to access the photography class? One day there will be Christine, but again, one Vicky and literally it's one Vicky. It pulled like stretch Armstrong and you have to be old like me to understand. So eventually it, I will do that. I just have to clean it up and uh, post all of those things. So, um, any other questions and we're going to flip the camera and do the thing. So let me look, uh, do, do. Good stuff. I'm super excited. So what a lot of you guys will do is for Sweet Rush, just like Color Study and just like Fernwood, you will still order product because you know we will use everything in the box. I will. I do bonus classes when we do them. So I always say, don't. When you get that class kit, you might look at it and go, woohoo, let's dig in. But then you won't have what you need for the class. So I always recommend you 100% support your independence and order what your favorite things are because you will be sad if you don't have extra when we're playing um, along on the Friday Night Lives and all the rest, okay? So I think that's it. I think I've covered all of the bases. I think so, right? It's, okay, my question was cut files for your classes. At this point, I don't know, there might be, um, but I just got to get the instructions written. There will probably be a, um, a printable. We're working on that, but I haven't even looked at cut files just yet. Okay. All right. So let's do the things. Last chance. Well, I can still see them, but any questions? Did you see my whole family of, I want to keep calling them pop sockets, <laughs> Patty, but look at, seriously, I have all my toys set up and I'm super excited. Uh, Funko Pops. See, it only took a minute. So they're all hanging out with us every time we do this. So I think that, um, I think we're good, right? No more questions. We're going to flip the camera. Okay. Because I feel like if you need me, I'm not leaving. So here we go. And I brought the camera closer. So let me know if it's close enough because I will bring it down even closer. Right? Rick James for the wind. Win. Yes. 100%. Right? And yes, um, I will, like it's, I will 100% add some cut files if um, Nicole has time and wants to help me do that. Um, but I can't, I don't want to um, commit her to anything that she might not feel like doing, right? So 100% uh, would love if uh, Nicole and I can collaborate on uh, some, cut, some cut files. So we'll see. Okay, you want it closer? Okay, sweater's coming off. Cause I'm getting ready to work and where is the shadow coming from? I think we're okay. So here's my hairy arms just a sec. So let's, I can bring it down a little bit closer. I just got to make sure that I stay in frame. So sorry for the jiggly, but there. Okay. Better. That is better. Right. When we're working on cards, see Nicole said she's in. 
So I will talk to Nicole this week. So sorry, moving my chair. I will talk to Nicole this week. So I give her lots of time because Nicole is very much used to Vicky emailing her and saying, Hey, can you do this for me? Like now? <laughs> so I'll make sure that I'm a much better friend and I give her more time than that. So I'm just sending love to Nicole. You are very talented. She is definitely amazing. Love her. Okay. Yay. <sighs> so want to see what I did? I, um, I'm trying to find, I put, I'm going to walk away for a minute. Okay. I'm going to go. I think I put the album back in my other room. So give me one minute. Okay. I'll be right back. I want to show you the layout from last week that I actually put in a freaking album. Who am I? I put it in an album. I can't even tell you how proud I am of myself because this is a plan for it. So tonight we're doing a card. Last week, I'm back. I did this. So let me move my inks. Now the camera's pretty tight, so you won't be able to fully see it, right? I started an album. So every week we're going to, or every month we're going to do a layout and uh, this is it finished. I did complete the layout and it's in an album. So this is my first layout for the year for Friday Night Live. So by the time we are done, there is going to be a complete, like we'll have at least 12 layouts and maybe more, right? Maybe more, but I love that at least I have that, that there will be photos, the whole bit. I even journaled. I even freaking journaled on it. So this is what we did last week. And now this week is a continuation, but we are going to level up the technique. So I was messing around. This stuff isn't all glued down, but the idea here is I did the technique with some um, white embossing and then went in and colored it and then did some technique on the background. Now, what I've decided for this next card, cause I'm gonna do a second one, right? Is um, I'm not gonna use this color in the back. So I may use um, old paper. I may use aged or salvaged patina or evergreen bow. I'm not sure yet, but I wanna do the next one a little bit brighter. So what are we going to do tonight? You need your masks. If you haven't created these with whatever stamp set you're using, stamp and cut them out of, I just cut them out of copy paper, but you can cut it out of a masking medium if you have it, whatever you have. Okay, but that is what we're going to do tonight. I have distress inks in peeled paint, mustard seed, barn door oxide, tattered rose oxide, and pumice stone, but I'm not using this one. If it was more of a gray and didn't turn out as green, then maybe I would use this, but I am not going to do that tonight, okay? Um, and then we'll paint the background. I have a stencil, I have a paintbrush, I have embossing ink and white embossing powder. Tonight I'm using Lawn Fawn. And then the stamp set I'm using, that's kind of thrown all over here because I was just cleaning it, is this set from Fernwood, the flower set. Okay, you can use any flower set that you have if you don't have this one, um, but this is what I'm gonna use. So we are gonna make a card and I'm very excited about it. And instead of stamping in black, we're gonna stamp and we're gonna heat emboss. Oh, you know what I need is a piece of foundations paper. So pumice stone in oxide is more of the color you're looking for, you think. Yes, um, I will try that one maybe next week when we do in the album, right? But yes, it does go quite green. And the only reason I want to change it is we did this last week. So I'm going to just change the look completely. But I did do one if this is your jam. 
But if you've met me before, this is a little dirtier than what I would normally do. So I'm going to brighten it up a bit for my second go. Okay. So let's get started. And then I will finish and I'll have two cards. So maybe we'll even change the design a little bit. But the idea is I also am going to stamp out some um, images and cut them out. So tonight will be a little bit of fussy cutting and just doing the things, okay? We're just gonna be doing the things, but that's the idea, is this is going to go something like that, and then I can put my title on there, or pardon me, see, scrapbooker, sentiment on there. So it'll be fun. So let's get started. I'm using foundations paper. You can use whatever you want. Um, Don, I am very happy for um, that feedback because I was very sad when pumice stone went from this kind of grayish to green. So I love that you told me that. And now I will definitely be playing around with it. I'm very excited about that. So I will do that. Sarah is asking, what type of pictures would you recommend for the Fernwood album class? I was thinking about making a memorial of my mom and dad's pics for myself, but not sure if it would work. It would 100% work. It's a very neutral um, collection. You do not need to print one photo prior to that class. We will be going at that class from, I think I said we're going to start at 10 until probably at least 5. And we will only be uh, cutting paper and putting everything in order and clipping and flipping. So you will probably have another eight hours of assembly. So photos can totally be an afterthought and it'll be awesome. Okay. Photos can be an afterthought and it will be awesome. You do not need one photo printed. I'm going to grab my foundations paper because I forgot. Yeah, I think that'll be awesome. I think that would be a perfect use for that. So I have my little sheet of acrylic that we will use to paint with, but I don't need that just yet because we'll start building our pattern. I've got to make space because I want to make sure I pulled the camera in tighter, but I want you to be able to see, right? Stock up on paper clips, 100%. Can I repeat the inks I'm using? I sure can. I have tattered rose oxide. I have barn door oxide. I have mustard seed in regular distress, peeled paint. And I'm not sure yet what I'm going to use for um, the negative watercolor to color the background darker. It might be um, old paper or salvage patina. I don't know yet. We'll test it. Okay. So salvage patina or old paper and decide. I just wanted a little brighter, just a little brighter for the second card. Hi, how are you? I'm going down to officially report my arm is sore. Okay, Rich is reporting that his arm is sore now after his booster shot. I guess he needed to uh, make sure you guys all felt bad for him. <laughs> Ding dong. Uh, oh, that's very exciting. Tina's husband and uh, her and her husband will be celebrating their 40th on Sunday. It's very, very exciting. And you're going to take some pictures for your album. I love it. No golfing, Rich. Oh, I'm sure he still goes outside in the frigid cold and is swinging his golf club because he's a weirdo, right? Well, he's different. Let's just put it that way, right? But I like that he feels like he needs to come and let the community know in case you're wondering about him or concerned, <laughs> Rich's arm hurts. So I'm going to cut this piece too because I want to mat it. I still want to throw some fern wood in here. So I'm going to cut it to four and a half by six and a half. And then I will also have a piece to stamp uh, the extra flowers that we're going to layer on top. Okay. Man pain, man pain hurts bad. It does. Worse than ours, right? He's going to come and give you a hard time picking on him, Julie. 
Okay, so, um, and there's shadow because how close the camera is. So I hope you guys can see everything okay. Hi, Denise, how are you? Karen, what's Arnica? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I just took an Advil and that worked just fine. I feel okay. I was a little bit tired earlier, but whatever. I just went in there and I said to the nurse, just do what needs to be done so one day I can leave the house. Because I went up to put a little makeup on so I didn't scare all of you guys. And I looked in the mirror and I went, oh my goodness, you look like a vampire. You have not seen the light of day for so long. And then I went outside and it was so freaking cold and windy. <laughs> I was like, I'm not equipped for this. I have not left the house for so long. So let's decide how we want to lay this pattern out. I'm going to stamp the first flower as my base. And then um, we will put some, so have your embossing powder ready, your embossing ink ready. And then you can, I'm going to put a little bit of my powder on here to just make sure that I don't have any stickiness. If you have your little D uh, staticker, little bean bagger thing, whatever you have will be perfect. Okay. So I am going to start my pattern with one flower. I will uh, put um, the embossing powder on it. We're going to heat set it. And then I will mask that one and start to build my little flower garden, right? Um, oh, I could have scared you. I look like a vampire. I need to go and visit somebody in a warmer climate, right? Does anybody have a spare room? Will they take care of me and cook my food and run me a hot bath? <laughs> can you use a dryer sheet? Sure you can. Um, question, has anyone ever said that Rich looks like, who's Chris Harrison? I don't know who that is. Do you think, I, is is that a good looking person or does he look like Uncle Fester? I'm curious what your thoughts are on my husband. Um, okay, so I am going to figure out how we wanna do our pattern. So we have on here, see this so very inspiring. So I think for this card, I would love to stamp this and put like a banner across with the so very inspiring. So I would like to plan accordingly if I pop that up in some of the other bits. So it's going to kind of come down and then I'm going to put it near the bottom. So for this card, I'm going to start with the first stamped image right about here and then it's going to trickle down. Okay. Do you like that? That Do you think that's funny if I asked you if Chris Harrison looks like um, Uncle Fester? Not that I think Rich looks like Uncle Fester. I, I should probably make sure. Um, I keep telling hubby I want to go somewhere warm by the ocean. Me too, Tara. Can I come and be your official crafter photographer? Um, we are in Orange Beach, Alabama, having extra bedroom right on the beach with a pure white oh, with pure white sand. Your husband's a very good cook. I'm on my way. I'm on my way, Carol. I seriously like seriously need um, to get out of my house and to go somewhere warm because it is a lot, right? It's a lot um, with everything. I just need a break with some heat. Okay, so I'm going to start. Ready? Let's do the things. So this is going to be a little hard to see because I'm stamping um, on white card with white embossing powder, um, but let's just kind of go. We're going to go with it. Okay, so I've got my stamped image down. See, don't judge me. The stamp is not clean because I have to find the things and I don't know where anything is. So I cleaned the room, right? So I've stamped it while that ink is wet. If you're new and you don't know what we're doing, this is embossing powder. It's like tiny little powdery plastic and it's going to go on this ink that is sticky. The sticky ink, when I heat, will melt and make this beautiful embossed image. Which, if you are newer to watercolor, what's really magical with this is that um, it's very forgiving when you go to paint. So you're going to find this is fun. This is elevating this whole 
effect and it's a lot of fun. So I'm going to go in here right now and I am going to heat set this, which I'm just waiting for my heat it tool to warm up and start to melt the plastic. And then we will mask it and build our little um, floral spray. Okay. So when I was working on this earlier, I actually, so here is golden nugget number one for tonight is I actually didn't cut the card down to start. I built it all on a bigger piece and then cut it out. So you might find that super helpful to build your floral spray on a bigger card and then cut it down to the size that you want it to be. Okay, so I'm gonna put this up here and we're gonna see if you guys, can you see that at all? When you will be able, there. So when you can see this is when we start to color it right? Your resolution uh, to use all the goodies and use some I haven't touched in even a year longer time and donate it. That's a great idea, right? Okay, so I'm going to go in here and I had last week and I just kept these because to me, uh, I think it's a great idea if you make masks and then just put them in a little bag or envelope with your stamp set that you can use at any point, right? So um, that's super helpful. Heather had COVID back in April before I could be vaxxed. Don't wish that on anyone. Hope everyone recovers quickly. Yes, thank you very much. I don't wish it on anyone either. Um, but this, this new one is at least not as potent, but I don't know if you're not vaxxed, what if that's the same deal. I don't know if it's not as potent if you're um, not vaxxed. So if you have opted not to, I hope you are safe and healthy because uh, scary stuff right now, right? But I find with this one, um, more people I know are definitely um, getting Omnicromni. So um, I'm going to I mask this now. See, I've laid this down over top of my embossed pattern. And now I'm going to stamp another one. And I'm also going to stamp one on my card. So I have one to cut out. Okay. So let's do the things. I'm going to stamp it up here. Here. Yes. Yep. Yeah, I am. And I'm okay if it stamps off the card. Just going to go with it. Right? Whatever. Friday nights are just for playing, and this is when we can discover if we like how things turn out, if we would like to do it a different way the next time, right? I think Saturday night's for fighting, and Friday night is for crafting, <laughs> isn't it? Isn't that what Elton John says? Is it Saturday night's for fighting? I don't remember. I could totally have lied about that. Maybe it's Friday nights for fighting. I don't remember. Yeah, tired of living in fear of getting sick. I just like do whatever I'm supposed to do. I'm just getting it done, whatever. One day I'll get to leave my house. It will make me joyous. Hopefully we can, a bunch of us can get together at a in-person event and craft and laugh and hug and shop and do all of the things that we love to do one day. So because I'm a klutz, I'm going to put it back in. I've just folded a piece. If you're new, I just shouldn't assume that everybody night Ed, that everybody I was reading Denise's comment that everybody knows what I'm doing. So uh, with the embossing powder, I just put it on a sheet of folded printer paper um, and then I can put it back into the little jar. And then we're going to heat set these ones. Okay. Let's do the things. So I'm just getting the gun, the heat gun a little bit hot. I don't know. Does it matter vaxxed or not? Because I think if you're not vaxxed, the Om Omnicrom, Omnicrom um, probably can affect you even more than if you, you um, are vaxxed. Just get the vaccinations, friends. Just do the things. Let's get out of the house. Whatever, whatever we need to do. We're never going to leave. 
we are on like and so i am extra sensitive to the whole thing because here in ontario we are locked down again um because our emergency rooms are getting maxed out so that's why it ends up happening because these poor nurses and doctors and everyone in the medical field oh my goodness i feel for them so much they are going to need a break and i think they should get danger bonus pay free trip to hawaii when all of this is done so this heat gun does not blow the embossing powder it just gets really hot so watch your fingers watch your fingers so you're not getting all toasty And I'm just making sure when you know that your embossing powder is melted because it goes from matte to shiny. Okay. So now you aren't going to really see. This is going to kind of be like, just trust me. I'm doing the things. <laughs> I'm doing the things. Trust me. You'll see it in a minute. Okay. We'll see you later, Lisa. Yes, you've had a busy day with some visitors when you went out for your smoke right? So I love you, Lisa. Keep getting better. Um, you go get your sleep. Everybody say good night to Lisa Forrest. Send her love, love, love. She is um, working very hard to get better and back to crafting with us. So we need to send that girl all the love in the world and all the love to her kids and her husband who have been um, just hanging in there and doing the things without their mom all Christmas. So um, make sure that we put that huge power of uh, prayers and good vibes out into the world for all of our friends that need it tonight, right? So good night, Lisa. Sleep tight. Get better. You keep healing and doing whatever you need to. So Lisa and I have been friends for years and years and years. And it's very hard when um, you have these friends that live across the miles and you can't be there when they need you, right? Super tough. So I'm going to stamp a daisy now here and for sure here. Well, I have the mask on, so I have two going. Burp, burp. So right now I've done like an X with pattern, okay? An X with the pattern. I'm going to put some embossing powder on this. And we're starting to build our pattern, and then we can mask and decide where we want the next one. And if you're new to this, like creating your own kind of floral spray, I would recommend going and looking at um, drawings on uh, Pinterest or look at other stamp sets that have floral sprays just to kind of see how the pattern works um, and then build your own, right? So I'm also going to uh, stamp at least one daisy on my bonus card that we will use for cutouts. So don't forget, this stamp set is one of my American craft sets. Uh, these are very inexpensive stamps. They do not come with dies because uh, we used to do that with my stamp sets, but um, we sw switched it up. And I would rather have two stamp sets with each collection. So it's always something I have to give up to get something else. So um, if you're using your good polymer uh, stamps, you will get finer detail than what you will with these. But it serves its purpose. They're still super pretty, right? So what I want to do now is there is a daisy here, a daisy here, uh, two of the kind of cabbage roses and I want some uh, flowers to trickle down here. So I'm going to stamp a daisy here and then a couple of the little flowers here and then a couple little ones up here. So let's mask the daisy and the rose, cabbage rose down here. I'm going to stamp a daisy. And then we're going to heat set that one. And then we're going to mask and put some of the tiny flowers on, okay? 
Um, wishing everyone health and safety this year. My kids go back to school on Monday. Numbers have been okay, but here in Bowmanville, um, I'm hoping they will be able to stay in school. I agree. Uh, the kids need to be in school, right? So I am hoping that will happen. So I just need to hold this up and figure out the daisies a little bit harder just to line up the mask and I tore part of my mask so I'm hoping <laughs> the part that tore off is not what I needed and it's not so whoa, winning right and then put this one on here and I'm going to stamp a daisy right in here we're going to cover some of this up with our sentiment, but at this point, I don't really know where that is. So I'm just going to build. Okay. I'm going to stamp a daisy over here. And let's put our embossing powder on. Like I said, um, I am like frugal stamper card maker girl because I don't have all of the things yet I am going to buy some of the masking what did you guys tell me last time that um uh, Gina K has a masking product and then I'm looking and thinking I might even have some of it here and not even know that's what it was for because I've always just cut out a printer paper but um this year is my year of card making because I want to expand what I'm doing and learning masking magic. Thank you. Um, I just want to do the things, right? Do the things. So um, I want to learn better tools to use and things that just make it all a little bit easier. So I will be watching Dawn when she's creating and all my uh, smart card makers, Karen, and Mari's out here just so I can learn all of the tricks, right? I'll be learning all the tricks because I want to be a card maker, but still true to my style, which is what I think you should do with your art anyway, is try the things, but just find where it fits into what you like to do. And that is kind of what my plan is. So I have very few more to go here, friends, and then we're going to get on to the coloring part. And I will finish this card tonight by the time I'm done. Cause I have the other one that I did as the start piece. Um, I will have two cards done. It's the year for doing the things, Juliana, 100%. By the time I'm done, I will have a whole bunch of cards created. I will have layouts created and I will also have an art journal slash, um, mini album because I want to do something in a smaller scale because really it's kind of the way for my personal crafting, the direction I'm going is I will keep doing the 12 by 12 for you guys who love 12 by 12s. Um, but I am going to, and I have their mint tape. I have it right behind me. So <laughs> I will have to grab that and use it as well. Okay. Now I'm going to mask the daisy down here, put a couple of the little flowers and one or two up here. So what do I need to mask? I need to put one of these here, one there, and put the daisy down here as soon as I find how it fits. Because remember, I tore it. And with my luck, the piece I tore is probably what I'm going to need. But nope. My luck is actually in my favor. So I am going to stamp a couple little flowers here and one there and we can get started. I did not, should I do? Yeah, and maybe a leaf. I might do a leaf as well, okay? So it's going to be the little flower on the set. So I've used this one. I've used this kind of daisy shape. And now I'm going to fill in with a couple of the little ones and then maybe stamp a leaf. Okay. Okay. 
There we go. One up here. And I'll heat those and then, oh, I'm going to stamp two on here. And then we'll do a leaf. And then we're going to start watercoloring, okay? And I know some of you are looking going, ooh, Vicki, you really should have cleaned that stamp set, your stamp set a little bit. Yes, I know. But if you've met me before, you may feel fairly confident that Vicki put it away after just wiping it off with paper towel. Which is surprising, actually, because um, I like to clean everything. And I was failing at my cleaning duties. How's everybody doing? Yes, I know. I want to start using the foil plates. That'll be the next thing. I know that Natalie does because doesn't, uh, which company that you use a lot of their stuff has a foil plates? Well, I think both, right? Pink Fresh does. And so does, I just forgot the other stamp company, Nat. Uh, I love their stamps too. I saw Sizzix came out with a new release. I think it was today. And there were like two stamp sets that I wanted. Not Sizzix. Who was it? Um, oh my goodness. I just totally forgot. It wasn't Sizzix. It was somebody. I don't know. But there were a bunch of florals that I wanted. And I'm like, I, uh clipped it but I don't remember I don't remember did I put yes I did yes that's the one oh my goodness Don you know it exactly Yana's line with spellbinders those are the ones there were two flower sets with the dies that I'm going to order from spellbinders 100% I loved it you need me as your TA at your house I clean all the yes you do Sue get over here just hop in your car and come on over Sue does take very good care of me when she um, is my TA at Crop and Creates. She cleans all of the things. And I always laugh when I have a new TA and they're like, what would you like? And I said, the biggest thing is just help me clean up. Because what happens when the class is done, everybody leaves and I'm stuck with all the mess to clean up. So I'm always like, if you can help me clean, will be the best day of my life. And Sue always is up for the task. So, yes, my friend, you do need to come over and help me. Keep me in line. Somebody needs to keep me in line. I think Rich has been failing at the task lately. He's scared of me, though, right? He's like, yeah, you're good, hun. <laughs> okay, let me just find, because I want to put a leaf here. One here. Just one leaf here. Here, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to put it here. Yeah. Uh, so let me just line up one more mask, stamp a couple leaves, and we'll start painting. I am um, suffering tonight from trying to figure out how this goes. Because some of the petals look the same, and I ripped one off, right? So, of course, now I really do think where I ripped off is where I need. Even if it's ish, I don't even care. But that is not it. I'm going to pretend this masks it enough. Look at Vicky. She can't even figure the things out. Can't even figure the things out. And you can't see. It's not even like you guys can help me because it's all in white. So I'm just going to move it around until it looks masked. There it is. I found it. See? I just had to talk my way through it. And we're going to stamp a leaf and then a couple leaves over on the page for our second layer. Okay. Love it. Yep. And a couple leaves on here. This one. This one. And a couple little ones. 
and then we're ready to color and you're going to see it all start to to um appear before your eyes because that's the magic with the embossing is when you put the color down is when you start to see the white embossing powder so let's do the things let's get it on here I think that's funny, Don. that you, it's exactly what I was trying to say. It was uh, Yana's um, stamp set with Spellbinders. That's the one that came out today, right? I want to order those. I have them in my cart. And now um, I'm going to for sure order them because I have to get them. Are you getting them, Don? If you're getting them, I have to get them too. I don't want to miss out on the things, right? I love that. Um, to is it, how do I do? I say Tolly or Tolly? Help me with how I um, pronounce your name. Yeah, I know my glasses. I told my husband. I said that is the next thing we need to do. Is I need to go for an eye exam, and I ordered a bunch of readers, some funky, fun ones. Uh, just for the time being, because I literally, it's going, I have some kind of massive degeneration of my um, eyesight. So I'm going to have to make sure I take care of that. Oh, there's foil lines as well. Yeah, but I don't, I don't have the machine. So I did not, I don't know if I want to, I was, I was looking at it and I don't know if I need that. Do you know what I mean? I do have my mink, but I know I need the heat foil. Does a whole different thing. Who, uh, if you guys have the heat foil machine, which ones do you own? Which one do you guys own? Just curious. And yes, when you take my the Vicky Booten classes, they are on YouTube because I just find the quality. It's a little bit more dependable than um, Facebook. So the private group is on Facebook, but our classes are held in a live on the YouTubes, okay? And tonight you could be watching on either because I do stream to both platforms. There we go, let's add some color. So I have done all my heat embossing and now I'm ready to go on here, get off any of the little doobies of these um, mats are not great for embossing powder. I have to say I should have put my um, nonstick one down. Okay. It is amazing. Sizzix foil machine is amazing. Okay. You have the Gemini. Um, foil press. I have a mink too, but you can't do the hot plates on that, right? I have that too, Laura. Love my mink. The Gemini is very nice because works with the Gemini Junior. See, Mari? <laughs> I don't know what that means. I have a Gemini, don't I? But I don't think mine's a Junior. It's the big one. But I don't know. Are you saying the plates go right in it? You don't have to buy a separate machine? Yeah, I have to look at the things because it's not something I'm well versed on. Um, so when you guys are telling me the things, do you notice I don't really have a clue what you're talking about? So yes, educate me. It can be a sharing of knowledge night because I don't know what you're talking about. Just cleaning up a bit. So now I have my dirty water. I'm going to go get some clean water and then um, we're going to paint. So I'm using distress ink. You can use watercolor. You could use art crayons, whatever you want to use tonight. There done clean water. Cool, clear water, water. Little Marty Robbins for you guys. So what I did here is I'm going to go in and we're going to paint these very quickly. And I'm just going to create my palette. 
So I'm going to put some barn door down on here. I'm going to put some tattered rose on here. I'm going to put some mustard seed on here. And I'm going to put some peeled paint on. This is a sheet of acrylic. Okay. Oh my goodness, Lee. I'm so sorry for your loss. That is completely heartbreaking. Sending you lots of love out there, my friend. The foil quill. I have the foil quill. I have that one as well because uh, it is a we are tool and I do have that. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to start with my green. Okay. I have a paper towel handy because I always say you want to control your water. So I usually will load my brush and then I'll wick some of the water out and I'm going to start painting. And it is okay if you paint outside the lines because we're gonna come in here and fill it in anyway. So let's just get the first color down and I'm totally okay if I'm messy painting. So I deposited a little bit of the peeled paint on my leaf. I'm also going to put it on the little nubbin in the center of my flower. I'm just gonna tie that green in a bit, put it there and in the middle of my daisy. So I have a daisy there and a daisy here and a daisy here. Okay. So not a lot, but I'm just putting a little bit of green. This is distress. So it is forgiving and fairly transparent. Okay. Yay. Now what you can do is if you give it a quick blast with your heat gun, um, well, I might do this a little bit though first. Clean water and I'm just going to rub out my edges a little bit around the leaf. And then a quick blast with the heat gun just so I can build a little depth. I'm not baking it, I'm just giving um, a little blast. I can pick up any extra water. And if I wanted to go in and build a little bit more with the green, I totally can do that, right? And now I'll just leave that to dry a bit. I can also paint some of my leaves on my bonus card. And these I'm gonna go in very messy because I'm cutting them out and I do want the paint to come outside of the leaves so that you can see the outer edge. Okay, a little bit here. These ones are not going to take a lot of color because um, there is not a ton of open space on them. Okay. The other thing I'll do is make a little bit of a new green with some of the yellow. And I'm going to throw some of that down on here. Color the center of my flower a little bit in the middle of the daisy. Quick blast so I can just build some depth. Like I said, this is not super intricate watercolor. The lines on this stamp are so heavy that you don't have a ton of open space. So I'm just speeding the process along because to build depth with watercolor, you need to let the layers dry. And I'm gonna throw some of that yellowy green on there too. Okay. So we can just throw a little bit more on there and we'll set this aside and just let it dry. Now I'm going to go in and I am going to paint with some of the tattered rose. And this is what I kind of went in on my daisy with some tattered rose, very light. 
So the daisies are going to get, look at very messy, don't need to. You're going to see where we'll pull the detail is when we go in with the darker color. Okay. So pull some of that in there. And I'm going to put it around the center here a little bit. Okay. While that's wet, let's go in with the barn door. I want the first layer to be pretty diluted, so I'm just going to mix lots of water in. But I will wick the water out of my paintbrush so I don't have a big wet pool. And I'm going to just start to make the shape pop out in that flower. Okay. Wick. And just make your shape pop out and then we can start to build the depth. You can totally color out of the lines. That's kind of what makes that outer white line pop. Okay. How are we doing? I'm, I'm painting, so I'm not even um, looking at your questions. Are there any questions? Sorry if I'm you're, you're feeling ignored. So I'm just going to put a little bit more in. And what are we going to do now? We're going to um, add. A little bit of heat just so I can set this color and I can start to build some darker uh, fired brick so I'm not baking it like a cookie I'm just putting a little bit of heat on here like I said if you're using a different stamp set that the lines are um, a little bit thinner like a nice detail stamp you will see a little bit more of this but now that that layer is for the most part dry, I can go in with more ink, less water, and start to add a little bit of darker color and layer that. So I'm just trying to make that section pop where the petals start to float up and in the center. Okay. How's everybody doing out there? I hope you're doing okay. Hope you're doing okay. I'm going to add a little bit of water in there. Let's pull that pigment out a little bit. Sorry, this is detail-y stuff, right? So look, I'm not even talking to you a lot. Don't feel neglected. Just let me know. Looking, any questions? Question, is it possible to zoom in a bit more? I can do this. But I feel like if I bring the camera down anymore, this is going to be the next thing that I do. I'm going to talk to my friends, Gina, and everyone who... Uh, because I do all of this on my phone and I know the next step is going, I'm going to be getting a camera. So it's going to be one of the next things that I work on is going to totally be um, getting a better camera set up so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Cause I know it can be hard, but is that helpful? I hope so. Right. So dry a layer before you build any kind of depth. Because if you try to paint wet on wet, it just pulls together. So you need to let your that layer dry and then add. So I'm gonna go in here now with some mustard seed. So this is not an oxide. This is going to be more of a nice color wash, right? 
So I'm going to go in here, wash in there. I'm also going to build in the middle of the daisies and then I'm going to mix some of my see how pretty that is right I'm going to water out the edges a bit so just taking clean water and I'm going to wash out some of that where I just kind of layered it out but we're going to go in here with another color right around the edges so let's do that I'm going back in now with tattered rose and I'm going to add um, another layer of that Okay, just in the daisies. Also, maybe a little bit around the edge or the center of the little tiny flower, see? And now we can go in. Oh, I still have to paint some of those flowers on my extra card, right? I can't forget those. Okay. I'm very happy with that. I hope you guys can see that. What kind of paper am I using? Foundations paper. It's uh, 110. Wait, is it 110 or more than 110? Might be 140, right? Oh my goodness, I just totally had a brain fart. It is 140. It's 140 pound. Thank you. Oh my goodness, Denise, right? How do I forget that? So I'm going to paint some of my extras on my cart. Okay, so again, lighter, like lots of water, less pigment to go in to start. Make sure you paint outside because you want to be able to see the edge when you go to cut it, okay? Put a little yellow in there too. Look how fast these ones just throw some pigment on there, okay? And then dry that first layer because I'm in the zone. I know I'm not usually having to do this focusy work, right? Can you guys see what I'm doing? Oh, I think that would be awesome, Karen. Who doesn't love getting a card, right? How's everybody doing tonight? Did I miss anything well I'm sure I'm missing lots of stuff the other fun thing when you heat with the embossing powder is um, it really brightens uh, the lines around where you're water coloring so let's go in again and I'm just trying to build out some detail in this flower right there's a little bit of the petals that come underneath put some in here clean my water I'm gonna pull some of that out So yes, for anybody, if you did go in and place an order for a Fernwood kit, they will all be shipping this weekend, any of those last ones. So you should have it in plenty of time for the class. But we will have a lot of fun. Um, it's a whole different vibe than what Friday nights are. We do some um, mixed media, 
but it is definitely um, very mini book focused. The layouts, we have a lot of fun. It's going to be fun. Um, I love it. I love those weekends. It's the best thing ever. I love that we get to spend all of that time together. We laugh a lot. Oh my goodness, I'll never forget Stinker Claws. That was the best. We did have some laughs, didn't we? Let's put a little detail in the center of that. And I'm going to paint. I need to put some more of the Tattered Rose because it's such a light color, right? Hello, Leanne. How are you? What happened with Denise? Whatever happened, sending you lots of love. Oh, Stinker Claws was probably, I think, the funniest thing that has ever happened in a class. I still, when I'm thinking about it, laugh my butt off. <laughs> oh, Vicky. Only Vicky, right? I still remember when Karen said it and sitting there going, what is Stinker Claws? Is that a real thing? Is that real? And then re realizing it was Stinker Claws. It was not Stinker Claws at all. I don't know what I was reading or thinking I was seeing, but it's not what the reality was at all. There was no Stinker Claws. Put a little bit more of that in there and a little green in the center. Got to watch, right? You don't want to make mud with your colors, but. Okay, very good, very good. So um, now we're going to do the next step. So these are going to be cut out. We don't have to do anything else on these. We'll let it dry. Hello, Lisa. Question. What are you creating for the Fernwood weekend? Uh, thinking about access only and what I'd need. Well, you'll need 38 pieces of pattern paper. You're going to need, I think, 9 or 10, if somebody has a kit there, of uh, cardstock, all of the ephemera, all three of the thicker sets. You, uh, The kit is huge, right? The price is reflective of all of the product that's in that kit. Um, there is a snap album in there. And we are going to be making a album that is already 50 double-sided pages because I'm crazy. And then uh, we will be making layouts. And there will also be a bonus card class. So there will be a lot of um, fun going on that weekend, right? I have not listed the contents yet because I um, haven't written the instructions and I usually don't do access only until the instructions are written. And as well, um, I still have a couple kits left to sell. Okay, so yeah, there'll be lots and lots in there. We're going to do an album. We're gonna do layouts, what color card stock. Um, just match it, you'll be fine as long as you match it to your Fernwood paper, right? But um, I'm not posting that just yet until I sell my kits because um, it will be posted probably next week. The whole list of what is in the kit will be um, posted next week. And then you have access to a private group where we're going to have exclusive cut files and uh, printable. So I hope that answers your questions. Okay, so let's decide what color we want to use now to fill it in. So we did this, which is more of a neutral on this one, right? Now let's do something a little fresher that will make it pop, but that will still uh, match our colors. I'm really leaning towards old paper. Let's see what this is going to look like. Let's decide. Ooh, I think I like it, but let's see. I don't know. It maybe it's going to be a com combination of that and salvage patina. Let's see. I might make a new color out of these two. Let's see. Maybe with a little bit of you're gonna this gonna it's just gonna get crazy up in here with a little bit of pumice stone. So right now on my sheet, I have pumice stone. 
old paper and selvage patina. And I'm going to mix and do some color testing. So I think that I really like the selvage patina, but let's see when we mix it. Ooh, yes, it's going to be these two colors, friends. I like that. So it is going to be pumice stone and selvage patina. Get ready for this color. Very pretty. So I just mixed it. I'm going to add some water so I don't lose all my pigment. And now I'm going to tap my brush, right? We're going to wick some of the color out. And now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to paint around my stamped images to make a kind of reverse watercolor. So this will make our pattern start to pop. So make sure you leave some open areas. You kind of are painting little circles in here. See, little circles. Because you don't want to have a really harsh line where your paint starts to dry. So you want to make sure that you don't just do an outer line because you will have this edge at your watercolor that starts to dry. So do you see how I'm going and working in one area, then coming back to add pigment to another area, just so I have those the different depths of color. So tap, tap, tap. It's not really a brush stroke per se. What's really fun with this is that you have that kind of barrier edge where the embossing powder is. So it is very forgiving when you're painting around it to start putting in, and I'll hold this up to the camera. I use both. So I made this color out of, is this in camera so you guys can see it? Pumice stone and selvage patina made this really fun green color. So I can't, you don't want to just keep laying pigment on because what's going to happen is it's going to push out to the edges. You need to dry it and then try to build your depth. Okay. You cannot build wet on wet on wet. You need to have it dry a little bit for you to start to build some of the depth. And it is very forgiving because you have that embossed edge okay so i'm going to work this area a little bit i'm going to give this a blast with my heat gun and i will hold it up to the camera So you can see what the heck's going on here. Push it down in between the petals. To really make these flowers pop. Move it around. I'm going to give it a little blast with my heat gun. Uh, and the watercolor tubes aren't your favorite thing anyway. Um, American Crafts is not like a fine art company. So we get very lucky with some of the products that we um, make that they um, are very fun and will work, but are inexpensive. But some of the other products are uh, very basic art tools and they'll still use, make really fun things with them but it's not like artist quality or sometimes even student quality, right? Sometimes they are um, a little different. So uh, you will find that those tubes of paint were fun, but they were definitely more like a gouache. You weren't getting like a great detail watercolor paint, okay? Okay. 
See, now this color is a little earthier, but totally my jam comparatively to just using the pumice stone. So I'm going to go in now and I'm going to move my card around and start. But now do you see how it's making the image pop, right? By putting the darker color around the outer edges. Yeah, I like the mix, you know, um, because it's still going to mix or match nicely with um, the Fernwood papers and such when I go to put some down. So, right, don't just paint a line. Do you see little dab, dab, dabs? Leave some white space. Right, some is darker, some is lighter. Pull in more pigment, less water. Know that it's a couple steps to build your masterpiece. It's not just one step, okay? Um, kind of a wet on wet. Wash is a great way to add your first layer. Jiggly, jiggly bits, right? I'm not just painting with brush strokes and not just outlining. Look at, I'm pulling some out. It can go to the edge of the page, but have some white open areas in there too, okay? Move your pigment around, but it's very forgiving because it's up against that embossed layer. Okay, so don't cover your whole section. Work like a quarter, a quarter, a quarter. Oh, that's a lot of quarters. You know what I mean, not a quarter. But work in a little section that didn't even make sense. But I guess I only said four quarters, so I was okay. The math was working out. Okay, I'm going to give this a quick blast, finish up here a little bit, so it's not just a line. Maybe add a little bit of water around the outer edge, soften that up a bit. And a little blast with the heat gun again, and go in and build some of the dark. Move the pigment around so you don't get this really dark edge of wick. Don't bake it like a cookie. You're just taking some of the moisture out so you can build a new layer. But you will find that when it's wet, the pigment pushes out to the outer edges and gives you that hard line. So don't dry it too much because you will not be able to take that away, okay? So I'm just gonna go in and build another layer on round circles with my brush to work those hard edges. Drop some more pigment in there. Move your card around to get into the spaces that you need. Do we have any questions? Sorry, I'm not looking. What is the question? Then you should re have received an e email newsletter style with a link to the private group you can request access to with the link. So everyone in your kit box. So I sent out when all of the kits were shipped, I sent an email out that said kits have shipped and I put a link to the private group. Um, I cannot control if your email provider actually lets newsletters come through. A lot don't, they block them as spam. I cannot correct that in any way from my end. You either have to go in and set up newsletters again with a different email, um, with a different email, or when you get your kit box, I also put a printout that shows um, links. I am not going to be emailing everyone who ordered a kit links to the class because it doesn't work for everybody. So I would rather everyone knows that you have to be in the private group on Facebook to get access to all of the class info. Because what I'm finding is if we have like 12 different ways to do it, it's too confusing and it already can be confusing. So um, 
if you do not have a link, the best thing for you to do is email me. But if you have not received your kit yet, be patient and it's coming there. Okay, friends? So just, um, it's all going to be there. It There is no way for me to make sure everyone gets the same info. It's impossible nowadays because a lot of email providers block newsletter style or um, emails that are blasts that have a whole bunch of um, names on them. So you will find that it makes it very difficult. And that's why if you just find the Vicky B face uh, Fernwood private group and ask for access, you can get in. You have to have your order number. I have not even sent Natalie the list yet because I already said to her, we're not adding anybody yet. I haven't finished setting the page up and it's then just another place that I have to go and monitor and I'm not ready yet, okay? Instructions aren't written. Does it sound like I'm yelling at you? Because I don't mean to, I'm just getting excited. Um, my voice starts to get louder. Um, it's just another place for me to go and monitor and um, I haven't even written the instructions yet, okay? So I just want to get all of the things. I haven't even taken Christmas down here, friends. Like all I've been doing lately is working. So I'm a little bit behind on life things. So my goal is to finish my Friday Night Live because you know I love doing these and then um, get the rest of the kits out that people have ordered. And then we will be working on the next steps for Fernwood, okay? So you haven't missed anything. And I am very excited that people are excited, but you haven't missed anything, okay? I love this, leaving this, gonna put some paint drips on, right? I hope, was that the question? Cause I just went in there and then, um, when can I move in and watch you create art? I love it. So I'm gonna put some little drips like this, just so it's not like this block of pigment and then we're gonna do something else in a second. So some of it's going on my flowers, but I can wipe it off. Okay, just a couple. And then we're gonna do the next step. Okay, so let's give this a little bit of a dry. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see what has happened here. All right. But yes, there will not be any more email blasts other than um, when all the kits are shipped, I might send one more email out that says all the kits are shipped and add one more link. But like I said, if you did not get the last email, make sure first that you're signed up for my newsletters because I did not send it to everyone who ordered a kit. I only sent it to people who are signed up for my newsletters. If you did not get the newsletter, chances are your email provider has blocked newsletters. So what you need to do is make sure that you are indeed signed up for my newsletters. Just go to vickybooten.com and you will see a pop-up window that says, are you one, do you want to be signed up for my newsletters? My favorite was somebody who um, email, you know, when the newsletter comes and you can decide to unsubscribe, and they unsubscribed because they said um, sends too many newsletters. And I had to giggle because uh, if anything, I am not sending enough. <laughs> so I thought that was funny. I'm unsubscribing because this provider sends too many newsletters. And I thought that was funny. I'm like, okay, you might get one like every six months from me, but you do what you need to do, right? So what I'm going to do now, remember that we had gone in with a stencil and layered the stencil over top just to create a little bit of a fun pattern. I'm not going to fill everything in. And the plus is that I can just kind of go into the little nooks and crannies. So I'm going to go in with, right, we made our own color. So now we got to figure out, I might try to make it. So what I'm going to do is go in and I'm gonna load my ink blending tool up with a little bit of the Selvage Patina. 
and I'm also going to tap on a little bit of pumice stone. Because these aren't oxides, I don't have to worry that I'm contaminating my ink pad. And then I'm just going to go through some of the areas with a little bit of pattern. Like I said, because this has hardly any ink on it, I should be okay. I'm not covering the flowers. I'm just kind of going around some of the floral areas. Let's look. <gasps> Very soft and subtle, almost looks like a garden gate. So I'll show you in a second. So I didn't even reload. Whatever I got on here is working, okay? Look at that, friends. Can you see that little bit of a pattern? So the last thing I'm going to do now is, did that freak you out, Serenity? <laughs> oh, I thought that you, when I went on there just with the stencil over everything, you're having a different conversation, aren't you? I'm looking at the screen if anybody has any questions. And thank you, friends that are still here. I love it. Okay, so what I'm going to go on now and do, like, oh, I'm going to put a little bit more up here. I need some in that corner. Love it, okay? So now I'm gonna take clean water and I'm going to drip it all around in this open area to create one more layer of where the water, because this is distress ink and it's water reactive, will literally eat away at some of this ink. So we're gonna actually lift pigment so we deposited pigment with the watercolor, and now we're going to lift some pigment, too, to just soften some of these areas. So I can even go in and eat away at where I just stenciled by depositing a little bit of water. And then, like I said, we will come in with the paper towel, and we're going to lift that off. So, hi, Sandra. I got your newsletter. Thank you. Do you have snow? We have some, and they say we may be getting um, some more. Uh, my husband tells me it's supposed to be coming, and it's going to be freaking cold, right? You didn't get a newsletter yet because nothing's been sent out, but I I'm going to send one this week, okay? So now I'm going to go in here. So, yes, I am creating on foundations paper. So now you will see it. Watch what will happen. Can you see the color wicking through my paper towel? That's lifting that green. Um, see you later, Natalie. Take care of yourself, friend. Oh my goodness. Look at that, friends. I'm going to show you. Do you see now where it picked up all the pigment and we have that kind of bokeh effect going on in the background? <gasps> I love it. So I'm going to dry that and I'm going to put a couple more drops on and we can do the next step. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. It's not even funny. That was just clean water. And all it did is literally lifted the pigment up and we picked that pigment up with the paper towel, right? We picked the pigment up with the paper towel. So let me show you again. I just want to put a couple more in a couple areas. Can you see that? These grayish looking dots is just where the water picked the pigment up. Very fun, right? So I just want to put a couple more here. Sorry, deep in concentration. So just a little sec. Some little ones when I tap my paintbrush. And it works really well because the color's dark in the background, right? That's why you really get that lift. So letting it sit, letting it marinate, it will lift the color. I'm not leaving this last set on that long. And then when you touch, do you see that kind of gray that gets picked up on my paper towel? I just lifted the pigment 
And then all I have left is the watermarks. Okay. Question. What is the background color? Um, it is a mix of selvage patina and pumice stone. I made a new color because I did not like how gray green just pumice stone was. So I brightened it up a little bit just using those two colors together, Serenity, right? I'm finally ready to play with my distress inks. I love it, Mindy. Don't be afraid. It's a piece of paper in your time, right? Oh, Boca. We should do that. Remind me that, Karen. We'll totally do that for a uh, future Friday Night Live. So look at There's my card base. Okay. So what do we need to do now? I'm going to fussy cut these bits because I do want like a... a Oh my goodness. A, -do 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 -do. a dimensional later. See you later. See you later, Leanne. <laughs> oh, Vicky can't speak. But I'm staying until it's done, right? You know, this is my, uh, why I love Friday nights is yes, that it's going to go to about 10 o'clock, quarter after 10. Um, but this is my time to create. Like, I don't really get to make art very much anymore because I'm working. So Friday nights for me is uh, really good for my um, brain space. Who's playing along tonight? Anybody? Is anyone playing along? Or are some of you just kind of chillaxing and then you'll come back and do this tomorrow? Because I know a lot of you will watch on Fridays. And then if you are so inspired, you will come back and do it on uh, the weekend, right? So just curious. And do you guys like that I'm doing a card as well? Do you find that's helpful? Oh, I love it. I love it. And we'll cut the leaves out. You're chilling. Yes, you love the cards, Kristen. Awesome. You're trying, Lori. And you know what? And it doesn't mean that the first time you do it, you're going to get it. Um, sometimes you have to practice and play a little bit. And the other thing is watercolor can be tricky, right? Watercolor can be tricky. But I want you guys to get in the mindset that um, it isn't a lot of times one and done. It might take four, five before you... Um, really start to master the techniques and i want you to do the four or five don't give up on yourself and your creativity right it is a piece of paper and your time and keep in mind vicky Booten has been doing this for a very long time so i don't want you to look at it and go it's perfect oh every time no if you guys have been around long enough sometimes you're watching and i'll make a hot poop mess right it won't be a pretty outcome at all, but then I'll go, okay, how can I make this work, right? Are you Tim Holtz incognito? Why is that, Denise? Maybe I'm just smart sometimes like he is, right? Plan to play, but craft table was a mess, so I'm getting ready to uh, do it tomorrow. I love it. I hope to do the fussy cutting tonight now that I have my stamps. Whoop, whoop. Seeing it as it gives me ideas for little books and ephemera, and it encourages me to use my stuff. And if you are a scrapbooker, there's no reason you can't do what I just did and make clusters that go all over your scrapbook backgrounds, right? Baby poop turned into a beautiful wreath last year. Do you remember? Sometimes it looks like poop. I love when the oopses happen. And you know, I do it live. I don't ever, I'm not aiming for perfection. I'm just aiming for this makes me happy. Right. And sometimes it doesn't make me happy at all, but I keep going or walk away and come back. Because um, I find my best lessons have been learned from projects or techniques or things that I'm working on that initially I think are crap. A lot of times are the best outcomes. Right. You have to tap out time for Z's for you. Okay, Nicole. And I always laugh because it's only nine o'clock, isn't it? Where you are, Nicole. Hi, B. How you doing, friend? How's your Gina Livy going, B? 
I know that when I check on Gina Livy, what's funny is um, I think I have almost 200 of my closest friends are signed up now for Gina Livy. So um, my week has gone very well, other than I had to order a new scale because I got on my scale and gained fat five pounds. I moved it to a different spot in my bathroom and I lost six and I moved it to a different spot and I gained eight. So I'm like, um, I need a new scale because that is not happening, right? That's a little frustrating. It's going great with Gina Livy method. Excellent, B. Has Lil been on tonight? I don't know if she is. Um, I I know that, no, I tonight is her son's birthday, Jack's birthday, and her mom's. So I'm sure Lale is doing what you need to do and celebrating either uh, with FaceTime with Jack or with her mom. So no, she has not been on tonight. It's now 2.49 in the UK, but enjoying the work. I love it, Karen. I cannot wait. I'm supposed to be in the UK and going to try if, as long as it works with COVID, um, I am trying to plan some in-person classes when I teach on my cruise. So as long as that happens this summer, because the cruise is going to Spain and France, but it leaves Southampton. Um, so I am trying to work out in-person classes when I'm there. And plus, I'm going to be staying and just touring around on my own in London. And I'll get together with Shamel, Wonder Boy. But only if it's safe enough to travel and if they'll even let us in. But that is supposed to be in June, I believe. Gina sings in her lives, and it reminds me of you. Well, I think we're kind of similar in some ways, right? You're doing keto and down 60 pounds. Good for you. Good for you. I did keto, and now I'm doing the Gina Livy. And it was an excellent transition for having a maintainable weight loss after keto. So I would really recommend when you are finished with a keto because it's very hard to maintain that for a lifetime that if you're looking for something that i think you will find you can transition very easily and happily into is the Livy method um it is you can't sign up right now because it is um a 12-week program so there'll be another one for the summer kind of spring session uh, but I have to say that I was a diehard ketoer, um, and then it just stopped working for me. And what I found is my hairdresser told me about Gina Libby, Jerry, my wonderful hairdresser of ooh, almost 30 years. And uh, I went, what the heck, and tried it out, and it was the best thing I ever did for myself the mind body connection and the health issues uh like my friend virginia's on it i have so many friends that have uh, reduced their diabetes uh, medication that their blood pressure their cholesterol uh, inflammation so it's so much more than just a diet so i have to say and b is there with me b's doing it i don't know who else that's here tonight is doing it but best thing, best thing, I will preach, preach, preach about it because uh, it's a game changer. I don't know. Patty, are you here anymore? Patty checks in and out, but I don't know if she's here. Some shame, sh sometimes, sometimes she's back there, but a lot of times she takes off on me doing other things. I don't know what else she'd have to do other than hang out with us, but Patty is definitely... Um, has been my saving grace for chatting with me on that program. You need your bread. Well, you know what? I haven't eaten bread in so long that it's a treat now. And guess what, Karen? I can't eat bread anymore. I gave it up on keto and now bread and pasta actually cause me physical pain, right? Melanie, are you on Gina Livy? Yes, Mari is doing it. So is Brenda, Dandy. I love it, right? 
and you're Miriam. And do do you not find like there is because Gina is very anti anti keto, but because I've done it, I understand the merits of keto because it is for people who have struggled. The plus with keto is you get results, right? You get results, but I don't miss the bread at all. It's crazy. I know. And a lot of you will be like, I don't. Hi. Okay. Can you hear me now? There we go. Sorry about that. Know what happened? Devin called me on my cell phone. So you just had to look at me. Wasn't that pretty? Yeah. Devin called on my cell phone and guess what? We just learned it kicks me out. So, um, I don't know what she was calling me for, but I'll call her back in a minute. But yes, that's why I lost sound. The girl child was trying to connect with her mother. She'll have to connect with her father. <laughs> so um, I'm not done, Debbie. Because I'm sure the, those kids are like, can you be my mother on Friday too? And I'm like, sorry, nope, not cooking. Um, not answering your cell message. So I'll call her back. I don't know what the problem is, but. If I you lose the sound again, um, it's because she's calling me back and it's emergency and I'll have to cut it short and just share the finish with you after. Um, because I definitely will be there for her if she calls again. So see what will happen now. Let's get some foam squares. Let's make our base because we have all of our pieces. I am so excited, right? Um, have you been able to keep the weight off with Gina Livy? Yes. Other than I went off the rails at Christmas time. So I'm not one to, to ask. I stress eight, but I didn't put all the weight back on because the biggest thing is, is being very mindful. So when you have those moments of it not being exactly perfect, you just get back on track. You clean it up for a bit and you keep going, right? 
Um, doesn't she know your schedule? But my schedule, right? I'm never off of this. So I got my booster shot today, if you weren't here earlier. And I have to say, my arm's a little sore. So anybody else have it? What was your experience with your booster? When did your arm feel better? Because I'm sitting here going, ooh, that, ee, that's a little owie. So I don't know if I'm going to, like, look at, there's, this could be very pretty. Right? Oh, I like that. Do you agree? Look at that. That is a card base with a little bit. Do we like that? I like it, right? It really makes it pop. So I've already decided I'm going to do that. Your arm was sore for a day with the booster. Okay. And somebody told me, Valerie, but I, she never comes anymore. Valerie doesn't come and play with us anymore. Told me to make sure I was moving my arm, right? Your arm was sore with the booster. Took about three days. Okay. It's not super sore. I just noticed it when I moved it over that I'm like, mm, ow. Okay. So now I need to do a five by ten. No. Seven. Seven by ten, right? For my five, seven, five by seven card. Maths. I have to do maths and... Um, I'm a little tired. How'd your Don, uh, Don, I had to leave last night. How did your card turn out? Don was doing a couple of cards. They were really cute. Um, my friend Don does Friday night lives and or Thursday night lives. So uh, if you want to check out some awesome um, card making and coloring, she does a beautiful job. So Oh, look what I did. We're going to pretend. If I send you this card, pretend when you open it that I'll have to put a border on there so nobody sees. <laughs> Ding dong. I didn't even look at that. I didn't even realize this paper had um, a border on it. My goodness, Vicki. And my very um, special, because I don't know where anything is, right? Not finished. We'll finish this weekend. Yeah, she's very good. Dawn is awesome. It's W plus nine is the card or the stamp company that Dawn owns. She is the owner and creator and brilliant mind behind it. Um, you will want to check her stuff out. Okay. Ding dong. Hello, Julie Ann Bennett. Because she knows I always call myself a ding dong. So you loved watching your first live. I'm very happy that you're here, Linda. So look at, we have that, right? Which you could just layer on the craft. I'm going to trim this down a little, little bit more so that I can put this peach dot behind it. Because it's my jam. I like to throw a little bit of pattern paper on here. So I'm going to cut my mat from pattern paper, and then I'll probably trim a little bit of this down. I was very excited to get to be there last night, Dawn. I like to support my friends, and you are always so supportive. Dawn always shows up. She is on um, these lives quite often. Most, I think, Friday, unless you have a life going on. Do you have a life every now and again, Don? See, Vicki Booten does not have a life. So um, I am always around because I never leave the house. <laughs> Remember, I said to Rich, like, oh, my goodness, when we went to get our shots today, I was like, uh, this is way too cold for uh, Miss Thang, who never leaves her house anymore. And I almost froze my patootie off. So I said to him, dude, go get the car and pick me up. I am not walking back to the car. The wind was blowing. And I bet the um, uh, wind chill was like minus 14 degrees Celsius. It was freaking cold. My hair was whipping around. I'm just getting my adhesive. I took it out. Where did I put it? Vicky's room is a mess. Even though I just cleaned it. 
and I'm just, oh, there it is. It's peeking out. Just trying to find the adhesive, okay? Ah, Rich has fallen and can't get up. Yeah, he's upstairs. You know what? So I love, this is one of my favorite papers, just so you know, from Fernwood, just for these circles, right? W plus nine is Dawn's. Facebook and it's the stamp company as well. W plus nine. W with the word P L U S plus nine. Okay. There is our base. Look how pretty isn't this paper? Like just give me a whole pad of just polka dots. Oh my goodness. Irene, do you just like walk the puppy and then come right back in the house? because I, I just couldn't even. So see, you can see a little bit of it, but I'm gonna just trim a little bit off of the edges. And we could go either way with this, couldn't you? Right, whatever you decide, whatever um, direction you like that in. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit off so I can see just a little bit more of the polka dot, peachy polka dot popping out. There we go. And what side do I want to take that off of? A little bit off this side. Sorry with the, uh, what is going on there? Um, with me having moved the camera closer, I'm not completely in screen all night. So I do apologize. So very nice. Do you guys like that? <laughs> do you like when I'm looking at my own work and I say very nice? It's snowing here right now. You can keep it, Irene, and I will totally be okay with that. We do not have to share the snow. Oop, my foot got stuck. I rolled, put my rolling carts underneath my desk, the um, project carts. I have three, three. I almost did this. I have three of them. Um, I put my project carts underneath my desk. So one has like all of the uh, sweet rush organized for me to start working on and one I leave empty. So when I'm working on projects, I have like vertical storage beside me. I freaking love it, right? I'm gonna pop this up. I like big bulky cards. I like big bulky cards and I cannot lie. Look at what I have. We've talked about this forever. Do you see what Vicky's using? Are you impressed? Right? You guys have told me to do this because now I'm up in my card making game. And I went and got some double-sided tape. Although this almost kills me to use all of that. So I probably am going to have to do the other trick that you guys told me and go and get um, double-sided um, craft foam. And I'll cut it in strips. Are you impressed, Julie? But this is going to put me over the edge. You know that, right? Um, Karen is off to bed. Oh, my goodness, Karen. It's 4 o'clock. Get to bed, girl. Get to bed. You're impressed. I know, but this has put me over the edge, man. That's a lot of tape. I need to get, like, 12 of the big rolls. 12 of them. A cherry on top sent me some adhesive and stuff to use. I have some from scrapbook.com, but you notice I have not been very good with putting my share sale links up at all, right? I have not. Hello, Utah Patty. How are you? Um, I'm very bad. I, that's I need an assistant, right? Somebody who takes care of me so I'm doing the right things. Because I'm sure there's lots of stuff that you're looking at tonight. And you're like, oh, I'm going to go buy that at scrapbook.com. Or I'm going to go buy that at Cherry on Top or Simon Says Stamps. And all the places that I have share sale um, affiliation with. And I just don't even do any of the stuff, right? <laughs> Whatever. Do your thing, right? It's all good. Vicky's a doorknob. A ding dong, right, Julianne? A total ding dong. Okay, there, look it. It's a card almost done. I have to say the double-sided tape, look it. I put it in the ass so the middle doesn't sink. But it, oh my goodness, when you're using the mixed media, 
look at that. Like if you got this in the mail, you wouldn't go look at the edges aren't curling or anything. I totally love that. But are you ready? This is when we notice I'm not letting you down that Vicky's a dork that I didn't cut the um, UPC, U, UPS, UP, whatever thing off there. <laughs> Total dork. You know what I could do too is some of these, like if I started drawing them, I saw that my friend, um, Julie Fife and Balzer showed this where you can put art on a card with just the photo corners and then you could take it off and frame it. How fun would that be, right? I thought that was very clever because she's super smart. Let's grab some foam dots. So I'm going to put this on here, but I'm not committing anything yet. I just want to decide how I want to lay this out. And then we can commit making my little like flower party go on here. Okay. Making my flower party. Hi, Deb. Just take some of the dotted paper and place a strip on the top. I will. I'll make it look inside like I meant like to put an embellishment on the inside, right? Oh, I love it, though. But what a dork, right? So if you see this card somewhere, all of you guys can giggle to yourself because you're like, oh, that's the card that Ding Dong Vicky um, actually has some craziness going on in there. I like this. Don't know if I want that there, but we'll decide. Because I got to decide where the leaves are going. I don't know yet. We'll kind of play until I decide. No. Because I do like this. I like the cluster of daisies there. Maybe this up here. I'll just play till I decide. Because I don't know, friends, should I... So here's what my idea was. I still have a sentiment, right? And there is a sentiment in the stamp set. So I thought it would be fun to stamp. The pink swash across here. So let's, I'm not painting, stamping it on the card. I'm going to stamp it on a piece of paper. What are our thoughts if I go in now with, how about, I'm going to just do just a salvaged patina, but I'm going to get the oxide. So let me grab it. I just got to find it behind me here. I just have to find it. Where are you? Oh my goodness, why is it my only oxide that I don't have here is salvage patina? What are the, oh, or you're just blind. I think that would be very pretty, don't you? So let's try it. If we don't like it, we don't have to use it. Okay, here we go. Burp, burp. We are going to ink up little paint strip see now is when I should have my and I might have to pull it out my misty because it's beating because that happens right oxide ink yeah okay watch what I'm gonna do give me a second And we are going to pull the Misty out so I can stamp that multiple times to work around my beading ink. I am a card maker now, so I get my big girl tools out. Are you impressed? You should, you should be. That Vicky is pulling out one of her four Misties, <laughs> right? One of her four Misties. Do do. Look at that. 
the big guns are coming out. Vicky's grabbing the stamp maker tools. Okay. So I am going to do that there. Oh, look, I'm going to get all my tools out. I'll get my stamp tabulus out too. Look at this. I love it though. It is a great, great product. So let's ink that up. And now I can stamp multiples of it. So when my ink is beading, I can still stamp a couple of them and hopefully get a nice solid blue. One more should work. Is this what you guys do when you um, stamp with your... Wonder if Bernadette's out here. Look what I'm using, my stamp tabulous. I love it, I wanna order a new one. So look, um, they will often, she'll often use some of Angie Blom's art because it's her sister, but I love it, right? Let's see. I'm okay with this. That's good enough. But I need, I need some other stamping inks because, you know, um, I need some inks that uh, are a little different. Hello, Valerie. Did you hear me talking about you? Because I said, Valerie is never here anymore. <coughs> Why do you forsake me, Val? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Your son was in the orchestra tonight. Now I feel it. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> Choking. Yes, I have a bunch of archivals and I'm going to, I'll order a whole bunch, Julie. I 100% would agree with that. That archival is the way to go. I'm just putting a little on there. Okay, so now let's stamp our sentiment right on there. Okay. I was choking. See that? I was getting... I, I'm here. I know, but that, I feel bad because that's where you need it to be, Val. Valerie's son was playing with the orchestra. How freaking awesome is that for our girl in our community? I love it, Val. Was it awesome? Because I remember when you posted that and I was sitting here thinking, well, that's something I won't be able to watch because I will be on Friday Night Live. So I hope it was absolutely amazing. I'm sure it was a complete proud mama moment. What instrument does he play? I should know that, but I don't. So we are going to ink this up. I'm sorry for the pro card makers are probably watching some of the stuff I'm doing and you're like having a heart attack because you're like, oh my goodness, she's so bad at this. I will get better. I will learn the things. I will learn the things. I will be better. But right, just like you guys, I want to show you some of this stuff. I'm just learning too. Doing the things, right? Oh, I'm going to do one more. One more. I'm going to dry that though first, okay? Yeah, the stamp tabulous, the reason that I am going to encourage you to look at these is because the person who, and you shouldn't be heating on your Misty, I do know that, but I'm doing it anyway because I'm cheating. Um, it's my friend who makes these, right? It's my friend who makes these. So like anything else, I'm totally going to encourage you guys to check her out. Stamp tabulous. Wonderful, wonderful lady. And her sister is one of my bestest crafty friends. Okay, what do you think? Oh, I love it. I am very impressed with how that turned out. So I will move that aside because I made a mess on it. It needs to be cleaned up. What do you think, Mari? Pretty good, eh? Pretty good, eh? 
yeah, the stamp tabulas, they come in heart shapes and flowers. They're very pretty. So I have to say, though, pretty, pretty impressed. And the Misty is worth every single penny. To line up and be able to get perfect stamped images all the time. And they were um, very generous and sent me um, a couple different sizes. I do love it. And I need to get better about using my tools. But now when I do my walkthrough of my craft room, you guys will be very impressed because now after being in it for, um, it's over a year now, right? Maybe almost two. Um, I have really reorganized it so it works better for me, right? So didn't that turn out pretty? It's still a little wet. I can see it. I'm not rubbing. I'm just making sure. I don't want to put my finger in it because I would be very mad after I did such a nice job <laughs> stamping it if now I mucked it up. So I'm just going to cut this out jaggedy because it looks like a little paint strip, right? I just want to cut so it's easier to handle. And then I'm going to cut jaggedy around the edge, just leaving a little bit of a white border. Not bad for um, inexpensive stamps. It does a nice job. And if you're just starting out and maybe you don't have a lot of dollars or you're nervous about uh, stamping because you don't think you're a good stamper, um, definitely invest in the good stamp sets because uh, you can never go wrong. They're excellent. But some of the ones that are more inexpensive can really have some pretty art too. Excuse me, I've seen those uh, tour de jours. That is not just a room. That's a crafting castle. <laughs> yeah, I have, um, I, well, this is my profession, right? So I've had all different sizes of craft rooms. The one I have now is half of our basement that I created into a work area because, oh, I love it. What do you guys think? Do you like that? So if I pop that up and then we layer some flowers, do you like the positioning right about here? That's what I'm thinking, right? Right about there. And then we'll build that up. So you could totally do this without putting another layer on top, but, um, I'm going to put a layer on top because I like it big and chunky. All right. Is Quebec uh, charging an unvaxxed tax? Just saw that on the news. Do not know that, right? Do not know that. Okay. So, oh, I love it. I love the color that we went with, which is selvage patina oxide. That's what this color is, selvage patina oxide. Okay, Irene, because I added this one in at the end. And then I'm going to, where'd my phone square? Oh, here. Pop this up. And not adhering anything until I decide where I want to position everything. But I like that. So you can still see our layers behind. And maybe this, like maybe this one, I might take the foam dot off. I don't know. And it's one of those I don't even want to know. Just tired of it all. Tired of the division, tired of and sad for all the people who have gotten sick and have really lost with the whole COVID. Um, I just, I don't know. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm loving this. So you're kind of just at the point where I don't even want to talk about it anymore. I love this. I don't know if I'm going to use that last one, but I like that I split the um, little part of the petal there that we can still see what's underneath that I can put a couple. Oh, I love it. Um, and decide, do we want that one there too? Maybe. I'm going to glue down what I like because I'm liking what's going on here. 
and then I'll decide where um, what other bits I want to do to pop up. So I'm going to commit this guy right here because I like it right here. Let's commit the title bit on the one side. I'm going to do it on this side first because there's nothing going underneath there. And then I can um, glue down the flower on this side and the leaf. Okay. The Misty is expensive. Uh, there are other brands, yes. But the Misty was the first one, right? Um, and I would say I wouldn't go with just the tiny one unless you're only doing really small cards. I think if you're going to invest in it, I would, I'd buy one Misty that can do all of the things, right? Um, but there are other stamping platforms. Yes, there are. Uh, we are memory keepers. Tim Holtz has one or Ranger. I don't know if it's actually Tim's or if it's Ranger. Right, but you're looking at sometimes smaller company, their prices and cost of doing business is higher because they're not ordering uh, huge numbers. So yes, there are things that can definitely factor into the cost of things. Okay, I'm gonna put that one down here like that. So now these ones are glued, see? And now I can build, um, or add my leaves. I left and came back and don't like my card because I don't have a dark green. That's okay. You can always add it after, right? Tim's is with tonic. Okay. Thank you. Um, what are we saying? Cause now I want to be part of the conversation or understand what's happening, but so worth it. Every penny, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. So buy the one that you like, I have no affiliation to anybody. I love all the companies and um, want them all to do well. But I know that the Misty was the, like, that was the first she came up with that, I believe, right? Um, Ranger Inc. is another company. That's where the inks, these are Ranger Inc. See, Ranger is a um, company as well. Tim's was discontinued in Canada and the U.S. Okay. Vicki, do you know which stamp set will be in Sweet Rush? I do not know because I have to, let's look. I will tell you because we decided this, right? So let me grab the Sweet Rush stamps. I better not say it because I don't remember and I don't want to lead you astray, Ellen. I don't remember. Okay. I will let you know though, but I don't remember. Yeah. Misty um, did uh, have a patent for it, right? And then one, the court cases. So a lot of the other brands had to stop making it until uh, the patent expired, right? So, yay. Yeah, I don't know. Buy whatever one makes you happy. Um, like I said, I'm not invested in all of that or I have no I have no skin in the game but I know pricing now with being a part of the world I am I understand a lot more from the manufacturing um, side of things that uh, I didn't know before right same with now selling kits online that now shipping, just so you guys know, shipping, like to ship to California, Puerto Rico, holy moly, it's all gone up by $10. It is absolutely crazy. All shipping costs have gone up um, with USPS. So that is going to have to be reflected, I'm sure, in a lot of things that you guys are seeing because it is crazy the amount of that the shipping when I shipped out Fernwood that um, how much money I lost on shipping because it all went up like dramatically have you guys noticed that the cost of everything right we saw the original prototype and told her to keep it under wraps until she applied for the patent I bet you did right Don um, and I love it like I said I totally get it and good for her that she fought for that, right? But yeah, 
Um, I understand it. These are small companies that come up with great ideas and it is hard, right? When you're not ordering 12 million of anything, all of your minimum order quantities and your pricing is all affected, right? Shipping is crazy right now. Yeah, totally crazy. I don't, I, I don't even think you understand. Like I was doing the shipping and went, so when did that happen? Because all of it went up by crazy amounts. Yeah. Thank you, Diane. Yes, I have the 12 by 12 Misty, I think. I love them. I love my Misty. I love my gel plate. I am the one who will always tell you, buy the tools. You need the tools. Where was that one there? Yeah, I kind of dig that. I'm going to totally go with it. I love this little flower posy little thing that we've made here, right? One there. I like it. And then one here somewhere. Do we want a little? I don't like that. Like that. Nope. Who knew that the direction of the leaf can affect it so much? I don't think I need one. I think it's enough. But I'm going to go with that. And I'll show you. And we totally could put some gems on here, too, if we wanted. Is that your jam? Who likes to finish their cards with either a little bit of um, glossy accents, some a gem, or is that still a thing in the card making world? Do people still do that? I just love, always love like a, a another layer. But what do we think, friends? There, I've got to turn that. What do we think? Good. Wink of Stella. Yeah, is that still a thing? You know why card making is so rewarding? Is it's a little mini piece of art. And the other thing, embellishing is still a thing. Oh, good. I can go grab some gems. <laughs> I'm so excited. I didn't want to look like a loser and start to put something on there and it's not a thing anymore. So let me see if I can find any down here. They might be upstairs, but... I don't want to be a loser. Look at how excited Vicky got when she found out that gems and so I'll grab some stuff. I don't have everything down here. My gem container is upstairs in my other craft room. Hopefully you can hear me because I got my face in the cupboard. But I don't have a lot down here. Just a second. Ooh, Brad's. Do you remember? That'll date me. I can get my whole Brad container out. Brad's. Pearls. Buttons. Do you remember we used to put buttons on everything? Oh, look, look at this. That could work. So I want to tell you this because you're going to laugh at this. I love enamel dots, right? Like love enamel dots. These are beautiful, by the way. Matte enamel dots. <gasps> I'm loving these. They're matte. But buttons are coming back. Good, Lori, because I have a lot of buttons and brads. I have a lot of buttons and brads. I love it. And sequins. Um, so Pebbles came out with these puffy dots. And I must have bought. So this is a pack of three. I probably own like 20 of these. So 60 of these, I bought them to put in my store. And then at this point, I have not put them in my store. I have kept them for myself. <laughs> Are these not the best thing ever? Oh my goodness. So maybe you just watch because I'm going to, that's my next thing is when I get my instructions done is I'm going to be updating my store and I have tools. I've ordered a whole bunch of fun stuff, a whole bunch of new stencils to get us ready for the next, um, uh, next gel plate class. So get ready for it, right? 
I, I just, I am going to do grab boxes, grab boxes. I'm going to put the gold ones on grab boxes for stuff. And also going to be doing, um, oh, I love them. Like that to me is perfect. It is very subtle and soft and it makes me happy. I'm going to be doing grab boxes and I will also be putting new stock in the store. So there is going to be um, new stencils, new tools. I have um, some new art mediums. So there's lots coming. What do we think? I love them. Very soft and subtle. Oh, one here. Don't you agree? You need to get your store updated. I know I do, Julie. But there, it's like, here's the thing, though, right? I update the store. Guess what's going to happen? I'm going to get orders. Guess who has to fill the orders and then ship them <laughs> is me. So I need to be in like prepared when the store gets updated, prepared to ship, if that makes sense. So see now in my world, I would have a bigger size in these. Like I feel this should be a button, but we'll just go with it. Right. Look at this. No, Rich has a full-time job. So I, I can't. Yeah. I, it's not, I need an assistant. And then I also need someone to come and work at fulfilling. Like I need two people, but they have to be local and I'm not set up for that. Well, and it's COVID times. I don't really want anybody in my house, right? So let's take a look and I will share a picture. What do you guys think, my card making friends? Did, did this turn out good? Do you like it? And then I will finish this one as well. And I think I might change it so it goes... So this one will be done, but I think we will make this one a horizontal card. So what do we have left here? We have that. And we can put some leaves on it, right? And then we have a couple of these like little mini daisy. So I will finish this one as well somehow and figure out where the title piece is going or title piece, freaking sentiment. <laughs> and then I'll finish this one as well. We'll have two cards. So one that's a little bit brighter, one that's a little earthier. What do you guys think? Right? What do you guys think? So yes, the card, just be ready for it. Like I literally have cases of stuff to add to the shop that it will be coming. So thank you for your patience with the store update. It will be worth it when it, it when I update. And then I also will be posting um, Sweet Rush, all of the add-ons that you can get and the weekend event. And don't forget, I'm, I'm gonna flip the camera. Let's talk for a minute before I go. Some of you are still here, so let's talk for a minute. Here I come. Hi. So I have to say, I, I have to, I'm going to change some things on this. I, I'm going to show you right now what is going to get changed. So, you know, I just said, oh, but I'll just leave it. No, I won't. So I will. There's the card. Look at what I made tonight. I'm so excited. Um, but I'm going to switch out. Like I put the gold ones on, but I'm going to put a different ooh, not that. one here and here because I feel like scale. I need scale. Do you like my earrings? Bubblegum machines. Oh my gosh. Aren't they fun? So this is what I want to talk to you. So maybe you, did you know about Sweet Rush? Were you um, not paying attention or off doing other things with Sweet Rush? Let's talk about why Sweet Rush is going to freaking rock the Casbah is because of this. So when we do the Sweet Rush weekend, A Vicky Booten album with Sweet Rush. Here's the other thing. Oh, my Mac's going to die. So if I die out, you'll know my battery's going to go. So let me tell you quick. Sweet Rush album. If you did a pre-order, make sure the price was adjusted because it came down quite a bit. I fought for that and um, they worked it out and the album is quite a bit cheaper. So make sure you are paying the proper price when you get that album. So yes, the kit is going to come with this freaking huge album. 
It's going to come, I've ordered the papers in multiples. It's going to have half of a six by eight pad. It's going to have a whole whack of the embellishments. And then when you order, I will have those as well if you want to add them to the order because it all should arrive at the same time. And when I ship the kit, if you want the washi tape or some of the other things, it will be posted as well. So it is not posted yet. What I'm saying is make sure you're signed up for my newsletter. I'm going to put Sweet Rush up by the beginning of February. It might go up at the end of January, but it will be a pre-order, just like all my other ones. You will pre-order it, and as soon as the product arrives, I will ship it to you. And I bet you don't be surprised if it's not till May. If they're saying it will arrive in April, kits will probably start shipping in May, but you know how things work. That's why I'll make sure that that class is planned in the summertime sometime because it makes me nervous. I just want to make sure they're all here. So it will be so good. So anyway, is Joanne's carrying it? I think they might be, but I don't know. And it won't be, um, it will be in, in the summer, I think. So, and they do not get all of it. They only carry partial skews and part of the paper. Okay. So I think they are, but I'm not 100% sure. I never know. I never know these things. So maybe, maybe not, right? Um, you saw it as a pre-order on Cherry on Top. Yes, they do have it on the pre-order. But again, this is not shipping until April or May. I will do my uh, weekend event um, and the add-ons. So even if you don't want the weekend event, but say you're like, oh, I like that stencil or I want that stamp, you can do that as well. But it's all going to be pre-order. Okay, yay. So that's it for tonight. I love it. I will post the finished card on all of my socials. If you are not already subscribed here on YouTube, make sure that you do that. And please thumbs up the video. And if you get a chance and you're floating around on YouTube, please leave a comment in the regular comment section below. If you are watching on Facebook, make sure you are following my Facebook page. And if you haven't joined, make sure you come and join the Vicki Booten Creative Community on Facebook. I'd love to see you there. I have lots of plans for our private little group there and um, Instagram and all the other things too. I will post this. Thank you so much, friends. This was so much fun. I love it. I am totally, I'm in. I'm a card maker now. I love doing it. So don't for next, forget next Friday, we're going to elevate this again. So I'm going to use the same stamp set. I'm still going to use Distress Ink. I might switch up my color palette, but I am going to do this in a six by eight album size that is like art journaling. You could modify it for Traveler's Notebook, Planner, anything that's smaller scale. So I'm gonna print some little small photos and everything. So it's gonna be so much fun. So if you like this technique and you wanna learn yet another adaptation, leveling it up, that's what I'm gonna do next Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern time on Friday Night Live that usually Look at three hours. Tonight was three hours, whatever. <laughs> there, I'm here for a while till it's done. So thanks so much for joining me, friends. Again, if you are interested in the Fernwood weekend, kits are shipping the remaining kits this weekend. You can find that on vickybooten.com. And everything you need will be in that kit except for your basic tools to create. I think you. I spend 15 hours with you in... Um, one-on-one -on -one live uh, lessons. So if you want to be a part of that as well, come and join me. It's going to be so much fun. So see you later, friends. Have a great rest of your weekend, and I'll see you next Friday. Bye, guys. See you. There we go. <laughs>